This is the second part of the C++ tutorial series. Today we're gonna take a look at basic programming and other important stuff you may wanna know. First of all, uh, sometimes uh, while programming you get the, these error lines, even though these aren't actually errors. So this code will compile and stuff and we actually did this in the last video. So if you didn't watch the last video, please go watch it. Okay, um, so uh, how to fix this that IntelliSense, that's the program who detects that stuff, works with Unreal Engine again. It's pretty easy. Uh, you need to locate your folder and you actually can need to close all the stuff. So Unreal Engine and Visual Studio. And here, just right click on here and generate new projects files. So let's start this up again. And you can see this works again. Uh, there is no error message as well as here. So we can actually start with the video now. This is a video about how you can program in Unreal Engine, so the basics. In the next few videos, I will go over how to create a toolbar button which opens a window where you can interact with the editor and stuff, how you can create very advanced blueprint nodes and so on. Everything you need to know to make your own plugins. Also, just click on subscribe and like this video, please. In the last video, I showed you how we created this and this. So this is a basic node. Uh, so when I call test function, oh, I'm sorry, I call test function, this actually pops up. And it does nothing though. We can fix this here. We are returning hello and true for every uh, thing. Okay, I will start with the basics. I will start with the uh, types. So our basic types is float, int, int64, uint8, and so on. So these are the basic uh, values inside Unreal Engine. Float is float, int is int, int64 is int64, and uint8 is actually a byte. Um, if you don't know what other things you might have, for example, f string or f text or f name, uh, if you don't know uh, these yet, then just search them on Google. Search Unreal Engine C++, then name or something, or name variable type. And then you will find all those uh, you may need in the future. Okay, so that's that done. The next thing I actually want to tell you is um, that we can, for example, now test if, or we have this, if uh, input one, is equal to in for two, then we have a true uh, statement. And now we can actually just copy this and put it into here. And if this is identical, it will now return uh, true. If not, it will return false. Let's compile this. Okay, it compiled and now I will actually uh, go on with the video I wanted to do and not some basics. Uh, we have this u function. Uh, here we have a u function specifier. If we now search in the internet for Unreal Engine u function specifier, you can actually see that we have many, 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 many different specifiers. I will go over the important ones now. So first of all, instead of blueprint callable, we can put blueprint pure in here. Uh, oh yes, I need to restart the engine after we made a change. And if I go now into the level blueprint, you can actually see that this is now a pure function. So if you need this, you can use this. Okay, the next important step is actually a category. So write category equals and then your category. For example, test category. And if you go into the engine and actually search for something, for example, uh, let's go in here, we have under category. So how you, do you do this? You can actually just type in this symbol, uh, on the German keyboard, it's on the bottom left corner of uh, the keyboard. If you press Control, Alt, and uh, the the button, you get this uh, thing. I will also put it in the description if your uh, keyboard 
from your country doesn't have the symbol, you can just copy and paste it. Then we can uh, do a subcategory one, for example. Okay, now the next one we can do is we can add metadata specifiers. So what actually is this? We can add meta and in here we can choose different stuff. For example, if you don't want this to be here, if you for example have a really re weird node name, we can actually put a new display name here. We can now do display name equals and your display name, for example, test name. Okay, uh, we can have multiple meta specifiers. Therefore, I actually want to add another one. For example, compact note title. And I want to call it um, fun, because programming is fun. Uh, this actually just works if we use Blueprint Pure, Pure, and I now show you what it does. Also, we actually have a compile error. So let's see what this does. I actually wrote category wrong. Rewrite this and compile again. And as you can see already, we have our compact node title and we have our name. Uh, we call it test name. That's our new display name. And it's under the test category and the subcategory one. And this works perfectly fine. I will just delete this and we will continue. So what else can we put here? We can actually add a tool tip. I think I don't need to explain what a tool tip is, uh, but it's like a description if you don't know what it is. Uh, so let's uh, say test description for a note. And if I was about to compile this, it would look like, for example, append a string or was it just append it was just append and if i hover over it uh, this would be so the text that stands here would be the description but what if i show you that these variables actually have their own descriptions so how do you do this inside here we can actually just add at param and a name of a parent for a parent, for example, this, and then the description of the parent, for example, param test description. If you want to use another param, you can actually, uh, I will just copy this and input how we call the other one. I will just use the return value two now. Return value two. And we call it test description two. And I will compile this. We now take a look at the notes. Let me change the level. We can actually see that our test name has a description, a param test description. For this one, we have nothing put, and a return value two for this param parent test description too. But what if you actually want also a, a tooltip or a description, a variable description for the basic return value, so this one. And then you will just go back to here and hit add return test, uh, uh, test. Okay, with now our, our return value, we actually have our return value here. The next thing we can add is actually a dev nope then only equals true uh, and now you can see this will say development only and the last thing I want to um, include in this video is keywords So you can add keywords by just doing this. And now uh, if you want multiple keywords, you can say hello, banana and Unreal Engine. And if you now search for one of them, this note will plop, pop up. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.